Here we go. And there. Well, it was spring loaded, right? Got our nice little engage. Uh, words are escaping me at the moment. Well, we got that out. And we have the spring that was holding this all engaged. Yeah, and that sits, seems like it sits right up on a shoulder here. So, I think now it's only appropriate that we Get this partially reassembled so that, like I said, we don't lose any bits. <sighs> I'm not sure what the set screw is doing on this. You have that entire pin holding everything in place. Set screw seems a bit superfluous. And that's our assembly for the half nut handle. And that's really the entire thing disassembled. So it looks like we finished getting the apron all torn apart today and it's a, a good point to leave it on. Next, uh, I'm off camera, I'll probably go through, check all the different hoses and everything. There's a bunch of corks that are stuffed into the top here. Well, not cork, but they're plugs that are designed to soak up the oil as it's dispersed around and then push and let it drain slowly through the tubes instead of having, uh, I guess this didn't have any system for adjusting the amount of pressure to each area. So it pressur pressurizes the entire channel and slowly feeds the oil through each of the holes. I need to get those out and replace them just because I was checking on a few of them and they were really gummed up and I doubt that and those can, in that condition it would have been able to distribute the oil well. But yeah, I'll get that cleaned up and get this the rest of this done off camera removing the front plate so that we can actually make sure everything is cleaned up on the front mm -hmm. instead so i take this off get all the paint cleaned off repaint it and put the plate back on all of that stuff will get done off camera because mm -hmm. that's just the boring tedious stuff but thank you for watching oh welcome back so Following some advice, switched over to a heavier uh, hammer for this instead of that dead blow hammer. And I was actually able to get this to budge just a bit out and so should be able to now pop that right out. So thank you, you know who you are in the comments. Only comment I had on that video. And we got that out. I also have the diagrams for this machine and looking into it looks like there is a pin holding in that back shaft so we'll have to figure out some way of getting that out and this other side has a pin and a set screw so this is probably the side that we'll pull out first and then we'll be able to pull off this piece later but for now let's see if we can get all of this out Seems like there might be some uh, little something caught in there. Uh, just double checking. There's no. Yeah, there's no. Uh, there's no like. There shouldn't be a ball bearing in there or anything that's getting stuck. It could be that I've got some bits of. Yeah, this isn't turning all the way around. I'm wondering if there's a bit of some uh, 
metal scrap just hanging out in there, locking it in place. Oh no, there is a ball bearing actually. We've got one right here. There's one ball out. Set that over there and see if I can find where the other one is. It seems to be caught down at the bottom. Let's see about flipping this around. a screw at the bottom here, but uh, that doesn't seem to go all the way through. Hmm. Might need to get a light into the back there, but... seeing any on the on the actual parts diagram here for that maybe it's a separate page yeah looking at it, there is a separate page there is there is no 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 balls that I see on there so I might have to I have to jiggle this around a bit. So, let's get this on it's upside down. Because yeah, I've checked in there and this is just a, uh, this is just a cavity in here. I pulled out small little set screw that went in the in the bottom of that, but there was nothing underneath it. Unless this there's an actual pin in there, and then it just sheared off, but I don't think so because this this is an actual uh, an actual flat-handed set screw. The problem is I can't find that part on the diagram here for this one. I found it on the other end. Yeah, because that, that one's for the 13 inch. Okay, that one's the front for the for the 17. And yeah, actually looking here in the bottom, we've got the set screw. It looks like a spring detent. A shaft or a pin, and then a ball bearing. So I pulled out that set screw, but I don't see a spring in there. Huh. So that must be what's holding this in place, preventing us from getting that out. Well, yeah, it moves a bit. Uh, maybe something we need to just. Some uh, good lubrication down in there and knock it out. Let's see if we get some WD forty down into there and Grease that, and that's enough to help get that loosened up enough to the point where we can get it to come back out. That should uh, that should be able to fall out here. So let's flip this back over. If only there was a straight shot through, I could just push it out. That's 
not going to have any such luck with that. One second. And that should be a better view of what I'm trying to get at down here. See, I can push this up and I can get it to budge just a little bit. But it doesn't seem to want to come down. Maybe we'll hits to shock that. Uh, that doesn't seem to be helping much either. Yeah, I can't seem to get that to want to budge. Yeah, there's definitely no through hole on the shaft there. That would be too easy. This one's just all full of grease. I think, yeah, looking at this, there's, there's two different paths on there. One of them for this pin, or this, uh, you know, the end on there, and one of them for the ball. And I think I moved it around and got the ball into the pin socket one. And that has caused it to not want to come out. Uh, I can't, can't get this to turn the, all the way around because of this here. And I can't get this out because there's... Well, I couldn't get it out. Right. Might be able to have the oil pump turn just enough to get it out without having to mess with the stuff at the back. Can I get that around? Yeah, that should work now. Hmm. Uh, except it doesn't want to move. Yeah, that's jammed pretty far into that. Uh, oh, I can see it. There's a spring in there. That's what I'm catching on. of that spring on the lip so yeah what happened is this came around and the ball detent got into the wrong slot and that allowed the spring to catch up in here and since the spring is now caught up in here there's not enough room there's not enough pressure to push that pin at the bottom out thing is, if I'm looking at that correctly, the spring shouldn't have been on the ball detent side anyway. It should have been behind the pin. So whoever was last into this put them in backwards. But yeah, it's definitely set screw, spring, pin, ball detent. Or ball bearing, I should say, for the detent. Try my pick tool here. See if I can get far enough in there to push that out. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting somewhere. All right, there's that pin. It's hollow on one end, and I'm thinking the spring is supposed to normally go into that hollow downwards. Okay, now let's see if we can. Hook onto the bottom of that spring, maybe grab it with the pliers. No, the pliers aren't working. Really Spring's bent up a bit. 
There we go. Yeah, look at that. That wasn't going to come out cleanly from the top. Oh. That's just one more spring I'll need to have replaced on this. But with that, should be able to get the whole shaft to slide out. So that just comes right off. Like I said, this is that channel that uh, our other pin was supposed to ride in. And on the back, you can actually see the three position ball detent path that the other part was supposed to go in. And as I was messing around with this, went all the way around and caught it in here. Ugh. Now let's see if this come out nicely. We got, looks like just a spacer there. And that is latched onto that center uh, shaft. What we've got locking that in place. I'm not seeing anything in particular there. It looks pretty, pretty straightforward, just a couple. Ah, there we go. Yeah, there is one. There is one tapered pin on that shaft. I don't know if we'll be able to see it clearly, but down in here, there should be a taper pin. Yeah, I can't, can't see it clearly from here, but there is supposed to be one taper pin down in here. Oh, I think, yeah, no, I don't know if you can see it. Right in the top there, this gear down here, you can see that there's a hole. So what I think I need to do is line this up correctly until I can actually see where the taper pin is. Here or that, or that's just a grease access hole to keep this spinning. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Well, let's see if just doing doing a punch on this will get this to move. Yeah, I don't think, didn't think so. Now we definitely need to find what's locking this in place. I don't see it from the other direction. Something is actually, since we've got, what we've got here is this is on this shaft floating. And then the two gears here, or this is fixed to this shaft. And the two here, gears here float. Sorry, I'm not pointing where you're looking at. This one here is fixed to the shaft. And these two are floating on the shaft. So we need to find out what's affixing that down and remove that before we can get and I think that's the taper pin that I was seeing in the diagrams is on this shaft so I've got looks like the end of a pin here and the other end of a pin here so it looks like it's going across diagonally now the hard part is going to be seeing which side of that is the bigger side. Yeah, no, that's the, the bigger side is definitely on here. So what we need to do is get this around, get our punch down in here, and then we'll try first with the uh, heavier hammer. Hmm. Don't want 
want to put too much pressure on it in case. Let's see, I think I can use a larger diameter punch here. Yeah. Solid hit in there. Hmm. It's not still not budging there. I'll do a quick attempt on the other end just in case I'm wrong about which side. It's really hard to get this one. not want to sit on there straight and I'm trying to punch this at an angle well that seems to be moving though maybe I did have it wrong Whew. end of this pin is pretty rounded though and it's not making it easy to keep that on there centered. Hmm. Let's see if the other side's budged at all while I was hitting that. Nothing's moved. Let me hammer this around for a bit. Alright it looks like it was on the other direction. Got it to budge just a little bit. And there we go, that's coming up through now. Oh, I get that a little too far in there. Let's see if I can just get my thinner punch to just tap that the rest of the way through. And there we go. We are loose. And I believe at this point we should actually be able to drive that through. Now let me check to make sure I'm not getting the wrong direction on that. I don't want to see, I want to make sure there's no shoulder on that shaft there so that it only will go out one direction. It does look like there's a shoulder. It's only going to come out towards the, uh, towards the rear, it seems. Yep, it's definitely only going to come out towards the rear, so I need to hit the front here. But that should. I don't really like putting the pressure there. Okay, that's what's starting to move, and there we go. Came right out. So, yeah, we just had that at an angle going through the center of that shaft holding that in place. Now let's see if all this comes out now. Oh, it's moving. <laughs> I might need to get all three plates to come out at once. The problem is this front one doesn't seem to want to budge at all. It's like it's riding on a bearing in there. Okay, we got our center play out there, and these are the sliding bolts in the center. And I think these actually just keep it so that it's got an equal spacing around the whole way so it doesn't shift at all like this. Just sort of an alignment with the shaft. And this is our back plate i think this one does the drive for the feed and then our top one here is the one that's actually doing the cross feed drive i should just come out though okay there yeah i was it is on a journal of sorts <sighs> writing on that 
that and I just need to get it out there. So yeah, it's our bushing in there that it was riding up right up inside of this here. So that is our whole stack up for the for those drives. Just like that. Okay. Now that that's out, our other gearing comes out here. This is the one with the splined shaft. I'm trying to find places to put all this. Okay. Now, I wonder if we'll have enough room there to get all the other components. Let's keep our tapered pin here. Yeah, that uh, end of this tapered pin got pretty rounded over from before even when I was doing it. That's why it looked like it was wider when I first checked it. What it'll do, I'll just file down the edges. But <clears throat> it gives us a nice clear view into the inside of this, and that should actually give us access to remove the oil pump and all of its components and make sure they're all cleaned, none of the tubing is jammed up there. Oops, get this up all the way standing. There we go. Okay, so now we need to get down in here, find that set screw, and pull that other bit of gearing off of the shaft so that we can pull this all the way down. All right, got things cleaned up a little bit here. You can see there's one pin, just a... Make sure this stays the correct rotation on that shaft. And we've got a set screw in here. You can see, hopefully one of my keys on this is the right size for that, but uh, now it looks like I'm gonna need to grab another set of hex keys. If I remember where I put them. socket set that is the right size. It's a little too small, which is promising. It means I should have the right one in there. There we go. Now, grab the wrench for this. I've got my little mini socket wrench. It's one of those really small drives, but Oh, that's going to be pain. Need to find some way of holding that in place while I try to spin this. It probably would have been a lot easier to pull this out if I had pulled it out while... There we go. If I had pulled it out while the gearing was still in place. Just holding some tension on the back here so that it does it actually ratchets properly. <clears throat> Got the little set screw out of that. Set that down on our little parts bench area. And I wonder if that'll just, uh, if we can just get that down and tap that a little bit. Let's return that to the box. Get that out of the way for now. And if you're wondering why I don't use that thing for everything else, it's because they're actually really nice. And I don't want to dirty up my nicer set of sockets. I would prefer to have them in great condition for whenever I need to get something out that's difficult. Hmm. 
so nothing else should be holding this on the shaft but I don't know if this is a good direction to get it out from. Might need to take off the front there and get that other piece out first. I've already loosened this up to look in there, but because of how the gearing was before, I wasn't able to get this out. Okay. Too far so I can get this out just fine Put some screws in there and where did you go so we have just a little face plate here with a shaft riding into it and that should now allow me to get this gear out here and that's that back gear that translates the rotational motion from your drive shaft into the other direction so that it can drive all the gearing in there. And we got just a little bit of stuff back there, but now oh, it's not rest that on a handle. Now we should be able to just be pushing this directly against the casting instead of against that gear. And hopefully that means we should be able to apply the pressure a little bit more direct and evenly and get this gear to budge off. And it's shifting slightly, so we're getting somewhere. Yep, I just gotta work that out. And we're out. Okay, so this should just lift up there. And then we have, like I was saying, we have that pin. I'm actually gonna need to pull that out so that when we put it back in and line everything up, we can drive that in proper. And then we should be able to just slide the shaft all the way through the bottom. There we go. I had to lever that up just a little bit. I was hitting against the bottom while hammering it out. So yeah, there is a pin here. I don't think we actually have any way of driving that out. So I guess this is gonna have to stay as a full assembly, which isn't a big problem. It looks like other than a little bit of rounding over near the edges where people probably shifted it while it was running. It doesn't look like there's any major damage here. So I think the shaft is okay. Mm -hmm. And just gonna get a couple of the components back dry fit together while I've got them out. Just so I don't have to. worry about losing anything. All right, and then now, onto the final part. Let's get this handle out of the way here. You can just slide this out now without that piece below it, and we have both halves of that split nut on the bottom or on the back of the apron. And we now have clear access for this. Oh, hey, I guess we had a piece going in here, one of the bearing surfaces. I'm gonna have to double check the drawings to see which part that mm -hmm. fell off of. But you just come up to the front here and there is a another there's a set screw and another pin. Yep, that's a tapered pin. So 
So we get the uh, get the hole here cleaned up a bit, and actually have to pull out that's my other set of socketed ones again because that is definitely small. Looks like three sixteenths. Hmm. Yep, three sixteenths is the number. And Oh, that broke right off. Nice. It's nice when things don't give us any issue. So, set that there. And wonder if there's any indication on the diagram here which direction the pin is normally driven in. Nope, it just mentions there's a pin. But it does look like this is our top, our fat end of the pin, and this is our smaller end. So if we take this here, and I drive this carefully. And that budged, so it'll come right out. Perfect. Let's, uh, hopefully the uh, shaft itself comes out just as easily. Yep. Let's not knock all of our tools off of the table. Is this spring loaded or something? Don't believe there's anything else holding this on. Oh, it is spring loaded. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I wonder where the spring is actually capturing on this because I did not see that on the drawing. Let's stop for just a second here before we break something. We've got just the pin there. Yeah, there's a spring just behind, just behind this piece, there's a spring holding the pressure out. So, I guess that'll just keep doing its thing while we hammer on this. And we're almost there. You still got you in frame, right? Let's give you a better angle. <laughs> 